There we have it guys, native code execution on Yuzu Android. This is really surprising, Mortal Kombat 1 now works in this update. Yo what's up guys, it's Atrix here. Today in this video, we'll be taking a look at the brand new Yuzu emulator Android NCE build which was just released about 15 hours ago and this is one of the best updates ever because lot of new titles such as Mortal Kombat 1, Hogwarts Legacy and many others work now on Yuzu emulator Android. Games which used to give black screen issue or crashing issues previously have been fixed, performance has been improved and many other changes. 15 hours ago on the official github page of Yuzu emulator android, the native code execution build was released. It is the build 4264 and in that build we got this brand new update of Yuzu emulator android. So let's quickly set it up. Once you are done setting up the folders, let's just go ahead and tap on the continue button and there we go. It will look similar to our previous Yuzu emulator androids but there have been few changes in the recent updates of Yuzu emulator android. Now note that this update is going to be officially releasing on google play store within two weeks or so as you know yuzu emulator is an open source project that's why it's officially already released on the yuzu emulator github page in action step but anyways let's just go ahead and go to advanced settings and you'll notice a slight change in the settings ui as you see right here there are some citra emulator style icons added in this section let me start off by showing you guys the best settings some options have been changed from one area to different area for example, dock mode has been now added in system instead of general. So you can disable limit speed percentage and enable dock mode from the system settings itself which is pretty cool. In terms of graphics, accuracy is normal. Resolution scaling will keep it at 1x because this update is really amazing. We'll also disable vSync. Let's scroll down aspect ratio stretch to window as usual. Disk shader catch has been enabled. Post maximum clocks and asynchronous shaders are also enabled. Nonetheless, we'll now go to debug options and right here you'll be able to see the CPU backend. By default it is set to dynamic but we'll just have to go ahead and tap on it and set it to native code execution. So this is the update which was very surprising when it was released because with the help of native code execution lot of games are now compatible in Yuzu emulator android and if you just go ahead and add an GPU driver those games will work flawlessly but still it is unstable as I told you guys before this is an alpha build of Yuzu emulator android. The final build will be released on its play store page hopefully within the next two weeks or so but right here as you guys can see I have added the Mesa Turnip Adreno driver revision 10 on my android device. Make sure to use this graphics driver if you want less graphical issues and more performance. Anyways, once that has been done, uh, that GPU driver only works with Adreno 6 series and 7 series GPUs by the way. Now let's start off by testing out some new titles such as Mortal Kombat 1 which used to not work previously on the Yuzu emulator Android. It used to just give black screen and then the game used to crash. Option to select language is finally appeared and the game now goes in game and there we go the game is about to begin. Now the Mortal Kombat 1 cutscene is pretty huge. So I would recommend you guys to use and save file. The audio output is also working perfectly fine as you may be able to hear. So this is a huge improvement and there have been some improvements even in games like Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. A Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu where the performance is finally sustainable. I'll talk about it in my later dedicated gameplay videos which will be coming very soon on my channel. So please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification if you would like to watch similar videos and help me reach 60,000 subscribers. There we go guys, our game is about to begin. Now let's see how well does it work and if there are any graphical issues. Now I can assure you guys that there will be some crashing issues here and there. As I told you guys before, if you try out this build, it is very experimental alpha build so you will face lot of issues. I recommend you guys to wait for it to launch on play store but there we go, let's get started with the game. We'll set an local match. Now when I tried out this game previously on the Yuzu Android NC build, the graphical output was proper. Yeah, there we go, somehow the graphics booted just now. There we go, we have selected our players. Uh, now we'll select an arena and let's start the match so right here i think the game will crash unfortunately because the fps bar has gone to 0.0, .0. now let's try out hogwarts legacy i think in this case the game should boot but i'm not really sure if it goes in game uh, but there we go previously it didn't even boot it used to just crash during the title screen but again the fps bar has gone to zero so i think this game will not work but i can indeed hear some audio output nonetheless we'll just exit emulation now if i was patient the game might have started or it may not have worked that is for you guys to figure out but we'll try out naruto x boruto ultimate ninja storm connections now this game works really well like really really well on user emulator android where i tested out this game i was really surprised to see this game running at full speed even though the graphics are really amazing and there were no visible graphical issues, no stuttering issue or crashing issue in this game. 
So if you want to try out some Naruto games, Demon Slayer games, uh, Dragon Ball games, Pokemon games, Zelda games, then you should be fine. So that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.